Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jamie, your favorite brace face. And here on my channel, we talk about my journey with adult braces. And today's video is your official one week update. Let me tell you, your girl is ready to tell you about this week. So let's get into it. I officially have had braces for one week, seven days with these beautiful ceramic and metal braces. So let's talk about let me tell you, so my last video I did last week, oh, I was so excited. <laughs> and the novelty of the new braces, it was like, you know, I was excited. I was pumped up. I was like, oh my God, I'm doing this. It was like a big deal. And then about two days later, the reality of my situation kind of kicked in. Let me tell you something my orthodontist told me. So when I went and got the braces put on, the orthodontist, he was like my age. He might've been a little bit older, like maybe in his like early 40s. He was like, I, as an adult getting braces, the difference between adults and kids that get braces is that adults will about a week to seven, seven to 10 days into getting braces, automatically regret it. They think it's the worst decision they've ever made. Awful, terrible, we shouldn't have done it. And then about two weeks in, the adult realizes, no, we're good, we adjusted, let's keep it moving. Well, it took me two days. <laughs> Two days and I started to think, oh my gosh, what have I done? I realized that I was not special, <laughs> that the pain everybody is talking about when it comes to like getting your braces on or having like the wire tightened and all that, that's real guys. Like that stuff is no joke. And I said it in my very first video, your girl doesn't handle pain well and this holds true. My teeth are hurting. It has been seven days and they still hurt. I'm not going to lie. Like I cannot bite down on anything hard. I can barely bite down on anything that's soft. So they do hurt. They definitely hurt. There is like this sensation of like pressure and like almost like a vulnerability. Like imagine this is how I described it to my husband who has had braces, by the way. He knows exactly what it feels like, but this is what I described it. I said, it almost feels like, imagine sucking something out of your teeth, like, like, like you got like a, like a piece of spinach or something in your teeth and you're trying to suck it out. Well, do that as hard as you can, like as hard as humanly possible all the time, 24 seven. That is what it feels like. It just feels like they're like, ugh, like there's so much pressure and there's so much stuff going on. And like, and then I look at them, they look the same. <laughs> there's no shifting yet. Nothing's changed yet, but that's okay. I know what's happening because that's why they're so sore, but yeah, I have been eating ibuprofen like nobody's business. And I think I said this. Let me tell you guys. So somebody told me you shouldn't take ibuprofen a lot because um, it slows the process down, that getting braces. And then I saw a video with another orth orthodontist, and he said that's kind of true. Because what happens when you have braces is that each tooth, every tooth you have, has like a ligament. And when you have braces and that pushing of gentle pressure to move your teeth... Um, as your teeth are shifting, you inflame that ligament that's around each tooth and that allows the shifting of the teeth. Well, if you take antihistamine, or I'm sorry, if you take anti-inflammatories like ibuprofen, it decreases that inflammation and it makes it a little bit slower. It's not going to just like derail your entire braces process, but it could shift it some. Listen, I didn't care. This girl took the ibuprofen every day. I still took some today because my teeth were killing me. So that was a really big deal to me. I do not handle pain well. I am a baby. But I would say if I had to give it like a number, one being no pain, 10 being the worst pain I've ever felt, like maybe like a six, a solid six, maybe a little bit more on some days. It is so bad that I honestly can't eat anything that's too hard. And too hard could be like chicken that's too dry. Like right now, everything hurts. I am still chewing very weird because don't forget, I have these little dots that are making it so my bite doesn't go all the way down so my teeth don't hit my front braces. And that also is very annoying. I chomp on that before I do anything. So it's like I'm chewing on tiny little marbles, a little bit softer than a marble, but it does feel like that. So that's been an adjustment, guys. The pain has been annoying um, and eating is still very challenging. Um, and I think it's both. I think it's the pain and the little dots. So once those little dots are gone, I'm hoping it's not as inconvenient to eat. Um, and I'm hoping the pain gets a little bit better with time. I think every time I get a new wire or a tightening, 
I think it's going to feel like this. Hopefully it does not feel like this for seven plus days, but we'll see if it does. That's part of my journey. And you know what? You guys will hear about it. The other thing I want to talk about is the amount of work. Your girl's been putting in some work. <laughs> Let me tell you. So I have clear braces, right? I have the ceramic clear on top. And my biggest fear of getting ceramic braces was simply, I don't want them to be stained yellow and green and orange by the time I'm done with this process. I still want to take photos. I'm doing these videos. I'm in a wedding. I'm officiating a wedding. So for me, my biggest fear with ceramic braces was just that, that I was going to have like stained um, brackets. So I have brushed my teeth a million times since I've had these braces on. It's a lot of work. Every soda, every coffee, um, every snack and meal, I have to brush my teeth. And I think that's part of the process. I know it is because even regardless of metal or ceramic, you still have to brush your teeth, right? Because you have so much gunk in between your brackets and under the wire that you have to brush your teeth. You don't have a choice. So um, I have brushed my teeth a million times and it has been some work. If I don't brush my teeth right away, I have to pick at them. If I do brush my teeth and I still have stuff in them, I have to get the little, it's like a little, like a, like a little floss thing, but that's like fuzzy, like a brush and it sticks it in between. I have not bought the water pick yet, but I promise the second I do, we'll do an unboxing. I'll do a review on it because I am curious to see if the hype is real. Um, and if it makes the process any easier, I will do it. No problem. And they're only like, I think 60 bucks on Amazon. So I'm going to get one. Anyways, so the work that is involved with getting the braces has been interesting. You know, it's like, okay, this is like an investment. But I do say this, anything that is worth the result, right? If it's like an amazing result or you're changing something about yourself physically or physically, mentally, whatever it is, spiritually, there's going to be some challenges. So as much as I have complained, in this week and god bless my husband because i have complained all week long my mouth hurts oh my gosh my i have little cuts on my mouth so that's true too guys the little sores you get from like bumping or um your brackets like rubbing against your gums oh yes these beautiful luscious lips are not because they're beautiful and luscious it's because they're swollen <laughs> and I have the little cuts and stuff on the inside of my mouth and I don't know if that is the worst part or not, but it definitely feels like it's the worst part. I absolutely cannot stand when you have like little cuts in your mouth. But again, let me preface, if you are strong and tough, it won't be a problem. Your girl is weak and does not like pain. So for me, it has been an issue. So, um, oh, let me tell you. So I think I showed you in the last video when they gave me that little goodie bag. And they were talking about the wax. Well, do I have one on? I do. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you see it? You see that little light thing? That's the wax. So I have a nice little sore right here on the inside of my mouth because these rackets have little fingers on them. And they keep shoving into my lip. So it's done it enough on this side that I have a little sore. And the girl told me, the dental assistant told me not to try to run to the wax right away. To try to like build the calluses in my hand, like in your mouth or whatever, to like to build the tolerance. So I've been tough for like five days. I did not do the wax. And I was dying. Let me tell you, like my mouth was dying. The little finger kept sticking into the boo-boo. It was like driving me crazy. Um, yesterday, I'm like, I'm going to try the wax. I'm just going to try it. Game changer. The wax is a, is a godsend. It has been so much nicer to have a little piece of wax. And I, I've seen vlogs where like these guys or girls have a really hard time getting it um, to stay. I haven't had that problem. So I'm like, pat me on the back, pat me on the back. Because I'm like, I have not had that problem. It's stuck pretty good. Actually, it's, stuck, it's sticking so, so well that I, I'm sleeping in it and it's not falling off when I'm sleeping. And when I get up, I'm brushing my teeth and all of a sudden it starts to move. And I'm like, oh my God, I, I'm, ba I'm breaking a bracket. But I'm not. It's because it's the wax and I totally forget that it's there. But it's been a lifesaver. It kind of gets like, as I talk so much or as the day goes on or if I'm eating something, I think it gets warm and kind of starts to move and shift a little bit so it doesn't protect it as much. So I'll take that out and then I'll put a new one in. But um, I'm only using like maybe one or two a day. 
and it's been it's been super helpful so I think as time progresses I'm going to rely on the wax and I know my dental lady was like try not to rely on it because it builds the strength in your mouth but I'm relying on it because it's hurt my mouth so much it is so much nicer when you have it it's just smooth and it doesn't hurt as bad um so if you have braces tell me in the comments if you have braces do you use the wax do you love it is it like waste of time you don't use it is it your best friend like me because right now it's been my best friend um the other thing I wanted to talk about was like eating so when I eat it is like so painful it is like the most painful thing ever and I think that relates back to the pain which we already talked about but like honestly guys as much as I am complaining I can't complain honestly this is something I chose to do and I'm excited about it as much as it has been su such a tough week I have to constantly remind myself that this is a blessing and that I'm very lucky that I get to do this so stop complaining guys tell me in the comments say stop complaining you're killing it you're crushing it I need some encouragement hit me up because I need encouragement <laughs> I'm thinking about doing a video too about the top five things I did not expect about getting braces let me know if you'd watch it because I had a bunch of stuff this week that I was like, man, I wasn't expecting it to be as much work or I wasn't expecting to have so much pain or the big one for me is like, it's a big adjustment. I am 36 years old. So I have gone my entire life living with the mouth I have and to all of a sudden change that and know that it's going to be changed for 19 months. It's a little scary. It's like, dang, I'm going to have to like commit to this for 19 months it is an investment in yourself and with investments come challenges so you know things like that that just kind of hit you the reality of like your decisions kind of like come toppling on you and you're like oh my gosh and you're in pain and your mouth hurts you have sores in your mouth and you know I was just having a pity party so you know I was thinking about doing a video about the top five things I didn't expect um let me know if you'd watch it. And listen, if you are not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. I would love to share this journey with you. And if you are a subscriber, shout out. Thank you for coming back and watching the video. I am like so pumped that you're here. Listen, leave a comment. Tell me where you're from. Tell me if you have braces. Tell me if you use the wax because I want to know. I want to know if the wax was like a thing for you or not. And tune in for my next video. I believe I'm going to put out a video next week, maybe a two week update. Or I'll put out the, the video about five things I didn't expect. Let me know what you guys think. Love y'all.